The Magic School Bus. Prion's Gone Wild. I wonder where Miss Drizzle is taking us today. Hey, I see a farm. I love farm animals. Yes, class. Today we will be visiting the old McDonald farm. My friend McDonald has so many farm animals that we can learn about, so we can understand more about animal physiology. Hey, class. I'm glad you're here. Feel free to look around. Unfortunately, I have to wait for the vet to arrive because my cow Betsy. Is feeling very ill. That's terrible to hear. What's happening to her? Well, Betsy has been acting very weird lately. She's unable to walk, experiencing uncontrolled movement, weight loss, and has decreased her milk production. It's going to be few hours until the vet comes. I'm really worried because I don't know what's happening. Hey, McDonald. I think we can help. Class, get into the school bus. We're going on a field trip. We're not there yet. Here we are, the spinal cord. Hmm, something seems wrong. Hey, Miss Drizzle, why does this not look like the spinal cord we learned in class? The cell seems to be dying. Hey, wait, what's on the surface of that nerve cell? Oh, I see what's happening. Class. The prion protein in the body has become damaged and infectious. Normally in the body, the prion protein is created with a special shape, known as a secondary structure, that helps it protect our nerves. When the machinery that makes prions goes wrong, it becomes an aberrant or abnormal prion. The difference between the two comes down to their secondary structure, aka how they are assembled. The normal prion has a shape called an alpha helix, which looks like a spring. While the aberrant prion has a beta pleated sheet, which looks like a blanket, when the prions become aberrant, they can bump into normal prions and damage them too. It seems like the good prions are decreasing, while the bad prions are increasing. Maybe that is causing Betsy to be sick. Let's investigate more. Betsy's nervous system seems to be highly damaged. The aberrant prions must have spread around and hit many parts of the nervous system. This is probably why she's experiencing symptoms. It takes four to six years from the time of infection until the symptoms begin to show, which scientists call the incubation period of the infection. Since Betsy is showing symptoms, that probably means she's severely diseased. Hey, Miss Drizzle, what's the difference between viruses and prion? By the way, don't they all change our bodies at some molecular level? Excellent question, Ralphia. The difference is that prions change other proteins by changing their fold, whereas viruses change our DNA by altering our genetic sequence. Wild! I never would have guessed. Well, class, look over here. We can see a normal protein being converted into a prion. What happens is that during infection, a misfolded protein or already damaged prion converts the normal host prion into its toxic form by changing its conformation or shape. This continues until all proteins of the nervous system are damaged. Isn't science amazing? Yikes! That looks dangerous. Now that we know what's going on, let's get out of here. We're not finished yet. The end stage of a prion is made of large sheets or polymers of these misfolded proteins, which causes massive tissue and cell damage. Oh my! We are getting attacked. Can we please leave? Hold on, class. Yay! We're back. Hey, Farmer McDonald. We think we know what's happening to Betsy. Unfortunately, we think she has mad cow disease, also known as bovine spongiform encephalopathy, or BSC. It's a fatal disease that destroys the nervous tissue of the cow, including the brain and spinal cord. We believe she may have gotten the disease from eating contaminated animal feed. Ah,、uh, old Betsy. She is my favorite and only pet cow, but I always knew her days was going to come. I know Betsy has mad cow disease, 
She has been showing the symptoms for a while. As soon as the symptoms start to show, cow usually have two weeks to six months. Unfortunately, there is no treatment or vaccine for the disease. This could have been prevented by making sure that the feed is stored properly and is free from contamination. I wish I knew that earlier. However, Betsy is an old cow. She has had a one great life. The vet is coming to give her some painkillers. Thank you guys for keeping Betsy some company today. And I hope you learned about the mechanism of mad cow disease.